What's shaking its bacon? And yesterday, Bungie sat down and had an interview with Conversation with Creators. And that's a little PlayStation program where they have conversations with creators. And it was really charming. And if you haven't seen it, then I'll leave a link in the description and you can go check that out because it was really nice for me personally to see because this is the kind of talk that got me interested in Destiny to begin with, like the enchantment of the world that they decided to create what they wanted us as players to see every time we loaded that game up and the feelings that we were meant to embrace with the entirety of the world. And it was really cool. I, I liked seeing the entire thing. I watched it from start to finish and I might watch it again just because it was that nice. Now, <laughs> one of the things that I talked about in my video that you might have seen yesterday was what's to come into in the Taken King. And there are a few things that I was saying, oh, it's not going to be anything special. It's nothing new. Especially one thing I just grazed over was a new level cap. And with that, I was just like, there's always a new level cap. Every time there's an expansion, there's a new level cap. So if there wasn't one, <laughs> that would be crazy. But something even crazier is what it actually is. And let me show you. What are those? This is terrifying. This is madness. This blew my mind when I saw it. I was like, I had a pause. I was, pa I didn't know what to say. It's crazy. A level, light level, 483 warlock. A light level, 384 warlock. And a light level, 395 titan. Now, first off, why do you have two warlocks and one titan? Like, what is that? But, there's also, all of them are level 30, like base level 30. And as you know, right now, all we can be is base level 20. So this is just mind-blowing on multiple levels. And there's no way that this is, like, conceptual, this is old or whatever. They wouldn't put this in the video if it was old. This is a little tease. They said, oh, well, there's not really anything we want to tease, we want to uh, guarantee. But this... This, oh yes, this is a tease. I don't know what the hell. Like, this is madness. I can't even speak when looking at this picture. Now, first off, level 30. Okay, I can get that. I understand a transition from being level 20 as the max to level 30. But is it really that big of a difference with our guardians? Like, I see it as the base level is your guardian's own potential. It's not taking the traveler's light within it or anything like that. So that's the base level. And then the light level kind of complements that. It like radiates your inner glory. So <laughs> me going from 20 to 30 puts me into the hundreds. Like not even just 100, 400. Does this mean when we're in Crucible, if I see a level 100, I'm going to call that guy a scrub? Am I going to say he's a noob? This is all time types of crazy and this was the most shocking thing out of all this everything else was just so beautiful it was nice to hear those kind words and them acknowledging their faults and trying to step past that and that's that's all you can really ask of a person to acknowledge what they've done wrong and make good out of it hopefully they go through with that promise but this <laughs> i don't know what to tell you guys Except Bungie is on some crazy shit. And this little screenshot brings up a lot of questions. Are we going to be facing enemies in the hundreds? Like, how is that going to translate? That means there's going to be a big systematic change in Destiny. If they go through with this, it's going to be a big change when it comes to fighting enemies of the darkness. And going into, say, Iron Banner, like this... Honestly, altogether, I'm not really pleased with this idea, but when it comes to Iron Banner, I'm really intrigued to how the hell they're going to pull this off. Like, <laughs> the the gaps between the levels is kind of huge. 483 compared to 384. Like, I don't know how anyone is going to be able to compete with someone in the 400s if they're only in the 300s in something like Iron Banner or not even just Iron Banner, Trials of Osiris, anything that scales with level is going to be 
a mess with something like this. But I have faith in Bungie and things like this. If they're going to do a systematic change this huge, then it has to be for a reason. It has to be something intriguing that has tickled their pickle. And <laughs> they're tickling my curiosity here. I want to see what they'll do with this. And it seems to me like Bungie is just tinkering with light levels all across the board because there were pictures floating around of a weapon with a light level. A weapon with a level at all is just crazy. So for them to do both things is madness. Is the Traveler alive and well? Is the Traveler like groggy? Is it waking up from its nap? Because this is a lot of light. Where are we getting this power from? I don't know, but they did say new ways for your guardian to become more powerful. And that's something that's been floating around a little bit from Bungie as the source. So I'm really intrigued as to what they'll do. I'm sorry that I'm kind of like flabbergasted while making this video, but that's just what this picture does to me. This is like the millionth time I've looked over it. I've looked at it multiple times now, and every time I just go bananas tell me what you think speculate i want to hear it all let's see what we can come up with thanks for watching i hope you like subscribe all that jazz and i'll catch you in the next one